Hello everyone, my name's Brian. That's my brother Adam. We're the Factional Fight Brothers. We're back in Worm, and um, yeah, I'm in this <laughs> giant mess, and uh, <laughs> we really tried to start our stream before this mess started, and uh, this is our attempt. Yeah, <laughs> did not work out. Uh, but, <laughs> so I simultaneously decided to uh, try to get the stream working while playing in my first rift. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a lot to talk about in this mess. I guess I'm going to target this one. Uh, trying to figure out which ones we're, we're targeting based on what everybody else is doing, because I assume if it's like other games, you should be all targeting the same mobs to get them down as quickly as possible, one at a time. Uh, <laughs> how is everybody yeah, so doing like, today? <laughs> and because doing, we started Adam? off like, I'm doing okay. Well, not okay, actually, because I log in this morning, all ready to do this rift. And yeah. the horse that I had next to my tent is no longer there. With all my gear and everything on it, my horse is gone. And so I'm going to be having to participate in this rift horseless. Um, but on top of that, we well, had forgotten cotton. Horses. Yeah, I know. Sounds like, like I, a medical condition. I know. And uh, I also realized that we had forgotten um, cotton. And... Um, now currently on a mission to find a mailbox to pick up the cotton that I mailed myself. I made it to three deeds so far. None of them have mailboxes. I am now back at Overture uh, and the mailbox is not visible to me. So I'm just running around Overture looking for the mailbox. Yeah. So Adam oh, hasn't actually, well, he, he made it here, but he hasn't actually <laughs> made it here. If that makes sense. Uh... Um, yeah, so we have no cotton. We have... <laughs> Anybody know where the mailbox is in Overture? Like, is there a mailbox in attacking? Overture? There should be one, right? Who's everybody attacking here? This one? A kingdom for a mailbox. <laughs> hey, Zipiku. And hey, cats. Do Jensen. Avena <laughs> Hey, everybody. <laughs> welcome to the, the chat. chat. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is like a rocky start to a stream. Yeah, you, so oh, I assume, I'm do blind. we know what happened to Adam's horse? This is what happened. So we assume it's the one that he's caring for. So yep. uh, he looked up the name, and then he was able to uh, use, what, what is that? Um, can the, what is that Animal permissions? Can, yeah, where, where you can see which direction uh, your horse is at. And he's saying... Uh, and, and it says something like it's 500 to 1,000 tiles away. Well, the wording it was, and I'm, I, oh, here's the thing. The wording says, when I look up where he is, oh, shoot. I go give directions to, it says, the old fast billy is pretty far away to the left of you. So the, I went to look up the pretty far away statement to see it, like, how far away that is. Um, I couldn't find it the, on the wiki, like, under the locate animal, but I found it under the locate soul spell, which I think uses the same like language. And there it mm. said it was between 5, 000, 500 and 1,000 tiles away. Now, this is impossible because I logged my character out next to my horse. My horse had a saddle and is being cared for and is branded. So I was, always, I was under the impression that that means that like it wouldn't go anywhere. Now, I don't remember if I had hitched my horse to the tent, which I might not have, but... So I guess the question is for everybody, if you have a horse and it's saddled and it's branded... And you log out next to it... What are the types of reasons people could maybe lead it right because this horse had some pretty decent gear on it and i'd be very sad to lose that gear mm. so what phase is the rift in right now it's right at the beginning it just started maybe 15 
20 minutes yeah, ago. I, I think that we had we had killed one round. I don't know how many rounds are riffs. Four rounds. Okay. Yeah, we're we're close to the beginning. There's all of these guys out here now that just spawned. They're all very tall. Look at how many there are. All right. Let's go after this one. This very is well. the first time I ever had to bind the hotkey target hostile. Hmm. But I guess there's no uh, helpful functionality like there are in other uh, MMOs that help determine uh, helping assisting other people that are fighting to allow us to know who to target. Mm, yeah, like you, We're just the only other way would be to right click the mob. Yeah, they're all running. Or double click in. the mob. Yeah, so I'm just I'm just going to through all the mobs and seeing where people are standing, if the mob's getting hurt. Well, I made it to the, get the cotton, um, and I'm running yeah, back. So, so cats, you might be right. So your actual permissions of that animal would need to have been set or set properly at least. I'm pretty certain the permissions was set because I've had the experience where back up. Uh, my alt was not able to ride the horse, and so I had to allow my alt to ride the horse. Does that also include leading? Mm-hmm. Default permissions does not... Yeah, but that, yeah, it was not on a deed. Um, it's, it was right next to the rift area, which is off deed. Does that change anything? It being on a deed or not i thought it wasn't really supposed to and let me know if the sound because the sound of the rift is really loud uh yeah so let me know if, if that's uh, too much for you guys i'll just turn it off now the other possibility although i don't like i could be remembering my horse's name incorrectly like what's your what's your uh Horse's name there. Ibnoir. Okay, that character is, or that horse is on this list. Mm. It's very possible I lost my horse, like it's gone cool. for good. Because I might not have properly set the permissions. But that doesn't seem to make sense because it must have been branded for me to put on the horse gear, right? It was definitely branded to our deed. Yeah. When I'm looking at the managed animals, I'm not sure I see the animal on this list. I see Fast Billy with that, but now I'm thinking that might be my old horse that I'm thinking that. Oh, no. So I might have just lost my horse and all my gear with my 99 WOA on it. That would be very sad. It wouldn't be the first Someone time that pulled everything. <laughs> I, don't I know wasn't what's going on anymore. Careful with my permissions. I know the 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 thing that I find about the rifts is that because there's a lot of people there, um, all it takes is for like a few who don't really understand how the rift works, for it to cause chaos and mayhem to ensue. Um, no, it was definitely not venerable. It was definitely young. Um. I'm just gonna have to bubble it and accept that I lost all my good gear. That, yeah, very unfortunate. So, I just wasn't careful. Day. I don't know. It seems like something I would do. You know, it's like it's similar to how like you make a password and you're like, oh, I'll remember it, <laughs> and then you don't. But uh, as far as I'm aware, you would have had to have actively removed the per permissions to like okay let's it so other let's suppose use it no 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 it definitely was not that so let's suppose i get a horse and we brand it oh, this one. 
but I don't care for it. But we branded it, right? Yep. The branding and allows then, those permissions to be used, right? And then the only permissions that I would have set is to allow access to my, like maybe give you access to the horse and give my alts access to the horse. That's all I've done to it. And then from there, but he's walking this way. Let's say I didn't care for it. Right. I would have had to actively switch it so mm -hmm. that everybody can use the horse, but I definitely would not have done that. Like last night, I definitely logged out next to my, with my horse. I definitely logged out next to my horse. Yeah. Is that you? No. Um, I'm in this mess. Are you here? I'm coming back. I just met up with a group of people who are in the middle of fighting just a, some stray mobs. Okay. I don't see the big group, although I'm right by the rift. Um, is the big group on the north side like they started? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I see them now. I'm just walking real slow because I'm carrying all the cotton now. I can come to you if you want. I had to go all the way around the rift. I went. LOF heels will be on the Why east. Is this side? half dead, but it's sitting all the way out there. What are people killing? Wait, they're going to cast Light of Foe on the east side? But everybody's standing on the north side. Wouldn't it make more sense <clears throat> for the priest to go where the setup was made, where the altars are made? and Saying everybody wants massive... to move for the third wave. Or somebody oh. wants to move for the third wave. Uh, move to the other side. Hmm. What's the other side? I don't know. Like to the south side to... they want to move to? Okay, I here you said are. East. I know. I I I, I guess if they're gonna they tell us which side to move on, they shouldn't say the other side. That's unclear. Thank you. You are welcome. Could probably use All a right. little bit of a heal. Whew, I am back. Old champion caster. All right, Adam's here. <laughs> <laughs> On my on foot. Oh, they are casting light of foe here, though. I just got hit by one. Okay, well, that's the thing. The default setting is so that there are no permissions set for everyone. However, there's an issue if no, the horse is on a leadable land. Okay. Somebody led your horse somewhere. Like a horse market. And if the permission is not specifically disabling everyone from the perms. But um, it was definitely off deed. It, it was, was right where I, I placed. Mm -hmm. Because when I placed my tent. I placed my tent on the ground. Right on the edge border of the rift. I think it might have been two or three tiles off the edge of Basically the Basically saying it was not on uh, a So deed. I can't imagine that that was a deed. Yeah, it is unfortunate. I, I'm still feeling, though, that it should have happened. I am feeling like... Oh, somebody's asking me, did I lose my horse? Do you need to borrow one? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. You did. Okay. That would be so helpful. Thank you so much. Surreal. Um, yeah, that is unlikely. Could they deed over a tent? Maybe. Maybe a tent's not the same as a house. Hey, where where is this surreal? See Zula Tech. I just see a sea of mobs. <laughs> I know. Well, this is nothing compared to what it was like at the um K 
cadence riff, the last week's cadence riff, not yesterday's, but uh, the one before. Yeah. There was 150 players in local. And what that meant was like these everybody over there events Ugh. scale with the number of people. So because there was 150 people, the rift scaled to match 150 people. And there wow. was like, <laughs> I think all in all, there was over 2000 mobs. There was like one point where it was just a C. When I say C, I mean like they were packed right up against each other in this massive area Wow! of like these guys. There was like ogres in there, like massive tall guys and big dogs and small dogs. And it was just insanity. All right. So, okay. So yeah, I know that ahead. we're not uh, really following a strategy as far as I can tell right here. Um, are there strategies? Should yeah. there be strategies? Like what, what are usually the types of things that go on in these things and what really should we be doing? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, at the heart of it, it's like the obvious thing should make sense. Like kill stuff, right? Like target them, swing your weapon, kill stuff. Yeah. Um, however, there's That's an additional doing. mechanism, yeah, that makes it so that we get rift points for our participation, and you can see how many rift points you have by typing slash rift. So you can do that, and you'll get slash sort of a massive okay. list of everybody here. Rift. And it looks like I have seven points because I came late. You are sitting at. 67 points 67 I points think... there it is okay I'm, it's over everybody's yeah. chat but 67 points I yeah, they gave I think me a, a phenomenal point for every yeah once you hit 60 you'll hit phenomenal and um i think that that determines um uh, which animal oh here we are yeah i'm not sure exactly Ooh. okay oh okay it's um, getting really choppy here <laughs> choppy with my voice or what no, in, in the game. The... <laughs> okay, Surreal is telling me it's the horse name. Oh, there we go. How do I say That's think? another Where's thing we can think? say. So there are about 40, I saw 45. It looks like it just went down to 44. And maybe somebody died. Maybe somebody was going through. So around 45. I can't even find the appropriate emote. <laughs> Do we have an emote for thanking somebody or like bowing? We have a bow, right? We have a bow. It's just. Oh, there it is. Are we going to kill this wolf? Okay. So Everybody once you hit 60. Here. Yeah. Once you hit 60. Um, don't burn. You, the, you hit the phenomenal range. I don't think you can get higher than that. Um, I feel like. I honestly feel like that just means that at the end of the rift, you're going to get um, a moon medal and you're going to get a bunch of rift material spawn in your in inventory. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm... I'm 60 for yeah, lumps good. and 500 for mats. Okay. So 500... Hey, Zulatech, what's going on? Aren't you streaming? Hey. <laughs> right now, I saw you streaming just a moment ago. Um, but I feel like if you get above 60, but below 500, you still get mats. At least that was my experience. I got mats, um, and I only was like in the 200s, maybe 300s or something like that at the mm. Cadence Rift. Maybe you get more mats after 500. I don't know. And then it says anything above that is just currency. And that currency that Zulatech is referring to is Rift Point. Uh, sorry, not Rift Points, but um, Rift Currency. What is it called? Also called Rift Points? I don't even know. But um, if you type in slash balances, okay, I think, yeah, it tells you um, your bank balance, your marks, and it tells you your Rift Points. They were not, uh, oh, what's the word? They were not creative with the names of these currencies, I feel. Well, you can see my, now my those... uh, FPS drops to 
about 10. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Probably because oh, I'm man. also streaming and have the, the Snapchat camera and everything up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, you need to turn down the settings. I don't know. Okay, so this is a really bad spot for us to be standing. You think... Um, everybody wanted, like, they were calling for us to go to the east. We are currently now standing on the south in a big clump. Are really we? I close. thought we are in the east. Although I've got a junky. Where are you? Because I'm backed oh, up. Oh, I all guess the way. it's. I guess we're southeast. Let's see. Yeah, I think our tents are by the just east. Be over basically here, I guess. Okay, so if we went to the east, it would be like, let me just see here. I have to look at the, I suppose this is east. You don't have yeah. to leave, yeah. It's, it's like here. I guess so. Our tents are over here somewhere. I don't like this, like everyone he went to this high ledge. It's high ground. But yeah, I that guess that's really so that. Help, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, what, killing. let's let's go back to the topic of how, what's the strategy here, okay? Because yes. the strategy is kind of <laughs> I would silly. Like to know, <laughs> because in order to get participation for a kill, there's a lot. They're all spawning. All out. that needs to have happened is that you needed to have targeted it once. Uh, you don't even need to have swung at it. I don't think to get okay. Credit so that's for like it. A, a user technique. But what's like the whole mob strategy? The mob here. strategy? You mean yeah. like... Like a raid strategy. This is a raid you would consider. Right. So the raid Usually strategy is to stand far and... enough away that we don't <laughs> aggro anything. That's that's the strategy. <laughs> the, the strategy right? is so, don't die. <laughs> well, it's don't die, but it's that we're supposed to... Like the group should be standing in a position where uh, we don't get aggroed by the main spawns. So okay, everybody then should be standing you, on one side. <laughs> yeah, like on one side, like far enough away from the rift that the mobs won't come to us naturally. And there might be a couple that spawn close to us, which is, you know, normal. Uh, so those ones might spawn. But like we, what we don't want is the massive group that's spawning around the rift to start coming over here while we're fighting this group, right? Like that makes sense. Yeah. And then, you know, stand you should far have away like, from the rift. <laughs> a player who is dedicated to pulling to pulling and that you're, player you're basically talking everquest strategy here yeah, yeah yeah pretty much everquest strategy and that person probably should be pulling with a bow so that they don't have to run up to the massive group and get aggro by these, everything do these mobs have any um, intelligence or aggro range where you have the ability to pull off of um pull off like there, a better so there pull is, than others depending on I don't where you're standing know. where you're hitting which mob you're attacking i honestly don't know the yeah i don't know the the strategy for pulling um and whether or not doing something will get you less <laughs> or one brave mobs. guy just has to go out <laughs> knowing obviously that i think it has to everything. do with it definitely has to do with proximity oh i'm about to right, die like, okay like what's happening here right now is we're like our lot our line is breaking up, right? So we were standing on the hill, but now look where we're standing. Yeah, we can And that's just because up. what ends up happening is somebody's health goes really low and they freak out, so they run away. And that's and it what pulls I a did. whole bunch of mobs over the hill. Um But what really should happen at a well organized rift is that everybody should be able to stand on that ledge and not have to pull away. Um so long as everybody has decent enough gear, decent enough fight skill, and the the heals are coming uh, at somewhat regular intervals. And these are some sort um, of like uh, heals as far as like, like, an, like an AOE heal. Like that just happened and I just missed it. <laughs> I was standing right, too far away. Yeah. Yeah. And it's because we should <laughs> no all be to grouped know. up together. I guess... We shouldn't be spread there out. There are certain things that we uh, that we just were used to when we're playing games like EverQuest, where when things are happening so slowly like this, 
uh, and we know we're going to mm -hmm. have to stand here for a long time to do this raid for like an hour. So there, there yeah. are certain things that in, in, in EverQuest, it prepares you for things like, okay, things that people are going to heal, like the ability right. to see that things are, that you're about to be healed uh, before it actually happens ahead of time to be right. prepared uh, without anybody having to say anything. One thing that this game could do or this game, or that users could do is, um, and I don't know if maybe I'm just not part of it, but if everybody was teamed up, or maybe if they just did it in local. Uh, remember in EverQuest, we used to use the chat channels a lot to mm. inform people what was going to happen next. So if a yep. healer was going to heal, they would say it in a way that made you be able to prepare for it. That makes right, sense. right, right, right. They uh, had like an emote button that they would press and it would say in local, like, everybody, I'm going to heal in 10 seconds. Yeah. And then there was also yeah. um, maybe a main person or main people where they would direct the mob to specific areas <clears throat> so we know who to yeah, attack. Yeah, but Sipaku, uh, a healer should not, in my opinion, this is my opinion. I know that people have like this strategy of using gems, but in my opinion, Heals in this game should not be based off of gems. It should be based off of favor and an altar. And so at a rift like this, what, like, you know, I see an altar of Libla right there, but like, we should have altars like everywhere. Uh, and they don't take too much to make. And then we should have BSBs filled with favor because that also doesn't take too much to prepare. And it's not like gems where gems are really valuable. Like somebody could just take a bunch of wemp and turn it into cordage ropes and without having to buy gems, we could have almost unlimited favor here. And the priest would sacrifice with a 15 second cast timer and then cast later fall, which I think is a 30 second cast timer. Okay. So we should be getting consistently a light a foe every 45 seconds with this method. Right. Right. That's a good question. You're right. Yeah. Who, who brings, brings favor it? to sack? But then the question <laughs> is who brings gems for favor? Like, boy, that person who spent the time, preparing gems for favor like that is a painful process um not only does it cost a ton of money <laughs> but if you fill gems with favor right now there is benefits to healing because you can get a ton of rift points for healing the the people who get the most rift points tend to be the healers particularly so, because one heal heals the entire group and then they get credit for every mob that goes down by yeah. anybody who they healed. <laughs> so um, I think this is indicative of, and let me just, I'm trying to figure out who they're going to attack next. I'm going to assume the big guy of like a public oh, yeah. raid, right? Who's going to, who's going to bring the gems or who's going to bring the favor? Who's going to cast heals? Well, right. these are the questions you only yeah. get when it's a public raid. This is why this would work a lot better if uh, if these sort of rifts were able to be an event that a uh, alliance could partake in, and the only way to do yeah. that is allowing an alliance to schedule something like this. Right, right. How cool would it be if, let's say, because right, then you don't an have alliance to worry about had who's the ability. Bring the the favor right it's like right the whole kingdom totally thing. so anyway, how cool would it be if you got a, if you had an event that alliance could initiate by getting together and building some kind of structure so they had to contribute to this structure and once it's built then they can start this ceremony that starts an event like this um and they could come prepared you know they the alliance you know spends a week or whatever preparing for it together by producing favor, making sure the healers are there and making sure, you know, and, and maybe even, even then, just, maybe like whoever's in the public area can participate as well. Um, yeah, the only thing you'd have allows to you worry to schedule about it. is uh, the only thing you have to change is make something that allows you to trigger an event like this, uh, some form of, of buildings that you'd have to create items you'd have to craft 
preparing for an event like this and then once you're there you would trigger it and then this would happen oh okay okay so what's going on here in local it's being called to prioritize ogres all these mobs are coming over ogres. this ridge okay yeah um although so i'm assuming this ogre that's right in front of it looks of like it looks like though the group is prioritizing instead the champion rift summoner which is actually not a bad priority because the rift summoner summons more wolves oh no so which one should i do because i started the ogre with everybody well, you can start the ogre it doesn't really matter we are splitting our our yeah, attention the, this summer is going down pretty good so the summoners are not a bad priority wow, that, the ogres that though ogre sound. <laughs> yeah i know <laughs> The ogres should be prioritized simply because they do a massive AOE that sounds like a cow. Um, that's fire based, and this is the oh. reason why I made ourselves fire protection rings. Ah, yes, because the AOE fire that the ogres put out is just phenomenal. <laughs> like it is, it, it, your health <laughs> easily goes down to half with one of them. And if you have like three or four ogres around and they're casting this thing, it's like, yeah, you can die real fast. Oh, and, and, without, and Sipiku, uh, if people had protection. 10 high skilled tunes themselves and 30 alts to trigger the event, sure. But the whole point of that scenario is that there wouldn't be the ability, like you, everybody would have the ability to, to trigger this. It's not like one event every week or something. Yeah. You, know, you would you would spend the time and you would prepare for this sort of event within your group. And if you wanted that group to just be yourself, sure. It wouldn't stop anybody else from doing the same thing. Uh, you know, and, and make it so it's like it's it's not just a big event, but it's a big Right. It's it's no it server wide cool while to prepare for something like that, right? It it takes commitment. Right. And you make it so that like like, I can't imagine that one person with 10 alts or 30 alts or whatever could beat this. <laughs> Should be able to do this. Right? They just like, stand there. <laughs> you think so, though? Like, you think they could just stand there and survive this? I don't know. So we, we don't know don't that. Know. And would the people We're be barely able to surviving farm the event over and tune. over? <laughs> yes, you could yes farm the event over and over the problem is is that you make the preparation so grand that half the time <clears throat> they would spend weeks preparing themselves for this event they would do yeah. the event and then they would spend weeks again preparing for the event like again you, right it's not you know those events you can't just sit there and trigger it over and over again as an example yeah right? okay so like for example you're going to need favor right and you're going to be pouring tons of favor out as your priests are healing like crazy you're, you're going to need to build a structure that potentially could be on the order of magnitude of a Colossus or more. Um, probably more, actually, because an alliance can build a Colossus pretty quick. But let's suppose you make it like, like a super structure that requires a lot of mats. Um, you know, make it take gold plates and things like this that would take a while to prepare the resources for. Um, yeah, it's not like you're just sitting there triggering an event, triggering an event. Trigger, it's like yeah. uh, the event is just the end goal. So, like, the idea is that a, an alliance would be able to spend a significant amount of time together preparing for this one big rift event or one big monster slaying event or something. Right, and and, and it's the journey that that really makes up the majority of the fun, and not this part. Um, yeah, and, and the rewards, that's something they would have to figure out. Yeah. I'm sure that we could figure out rewards that just give, uh, enough reward for the time investment. However, time invested. if, if this system replaced the rift anyway. system, it could just be the same rewards as the rifts, you know, I think that people, people that's are true. really enjoying the rift rewards. I really, really want to get myself one of those, uh, dragon shoulders. They could just, just I love how they look. You know, they they could just make an altered version of the rift so that there's a, like a uh, an alliance type of version that you can do on your own, and then you got this like public need, version. 
feel like we need to target that champion rift ogre champion yeah, ogre should be our people prioritized it's like it's so no, tall nobody. people are afraid i would assume <laughs> like me yeah <laughs> but i mean i'm afraid that it's staying alive for so long is all i'm at half health because i got hit by an aoe yeah i'm not doing well these ogres aren't going down nobody's targeting the ogres i targeted one that other people seem to be the yeah. other whoa okay i just got slammed hey worming zeth pop up. how's it going yeah. and gareth drengi afternoon it is morning for us that's for sure hey yes it was it was very early it was very hard to, to get start this. this morning that's for sure yeah We had planned to wake up way yeah, before I, this I rift think, and get on and prepare for it on the stream, and that did not happen. I think when Brian said weeks, I don't think he really meant weeks and weeks and weeks. I think it's like if if it would take an alliance, like a group of you know ten players, um, if if they contributed it all together, if they can let's say pull off one of these once a week, I feel like that would be like in the ballpark of where we would want to balance that. Yeah. You, know? you like we're just spitballing here, but the the idea is that yeah, like is that the devs have the control over how much how many they want to see in the world. Right? Right. And then they have the ability to balance the rewards based off of that. You know, nothing Exactly. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. Are, are we killing this champion ogre? I don't think you see anybody I targeting it. I am been targeting it for a while now. Um, it's just not moving. I mean, it it's I've only hit it once though. And it keeps running because people <laughs> keep running away from it. Oh, now it's on me. Can we Can we like maybe target this champion ogre? That'd be good. <laughs> okay, let people create dungeons. Yeah. I hit him a second In time. In theory, that would be fun. <laughs> In <laughs> practice, I could see that being a mess. Thanks, Zulatech, for acknowledging my good job of pulling the champion away. Except for my problem is, is that he's crushing me. I'm definitely not a tanky... A tanky guy. Okay, what are we doing here? I got the red halo now. Oh, and because I ran away, I missed that flight of foe. Yeah, I just got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like running back towards and I saw the green halo around everyone. How close do you have to be before oh. you? Whoa, this close, I guess. Like <laughs> really underneath under him. it. Yeah, you need to be under, <laughs> under him. That's scary. Okay, he better not hit an AoE right now. I am, oh, I'm getting hit. I need to back away and heal. I can't. I can't survive. Oh, this. here comes the next wave. We haven't finished this. What? Wave. Why is the next wave started? I don't you know. know. Okay, so well, the I thing don't know is, if it's is that wave or just more mobs are coming. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're seeing more mobs. I don't think it's the next wave. Let me just check. You type slash rift, and at the very top of that window, which didn't come up when I type slash rift. Ooh, this guy looks like he's okay. coming for me. The rift window is not coming up anymore is it because i'm not in the rift area yeah uh, oh yeah we did start the next wave wonderful so the <laughs> only way to start the next wave is somebody has to activate the altar so they there has to be somebody who's messing with us or something and this is what happened at the first melody wave uh was it the melody wave or the Okay, now what? One of the other ways raids ra rifts I went to, um, yeah, it was the first melody rift, and somebody there's a way to skip the final boss. Mm -hmm. no so while the final boss is up, if you sacrifice enough hearts, it will end it. It's like a way for a small group of players to beat the final boss by skipping him. And we were in the middle of killing him, and he was like, he was like at a quarter health, and somebody sacrificed all the hearts, and we missed out on the final kill. Oh no! Yeah, and I feel like this shouldn't be an option. Like this should, 
it's like maybe open up the option once like a half hour has passed in the final wave or like once a certain amount of time has passed like because i don't think it's fair that one person can decide for the entire group that we're just going to end this right now what was funny was that that person was like i have to get going guys <laughs> i want can we end this now <laughs> and everyone's like no we're going to kill this <laughs> final boss <laughs> and he's like i'm ending it <laughs> Uh, and everybody's like just this is just ridiculous how is it that this one guy can control the entire rift i don't know you can see the rift progress you can see it in the mission overlay oh i did not know that okay let's see here the mission overlay yeah rift progress we're in wave three yeah it does say it there rift progression wave three of four there you go State I am getting 0%. hit by these OE, AOEs. Wait, what are we hitting? Bad. I thought we were hitting this. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's a light of foe being cast. And I'm away from the group. Do you see which, uh, where everybody is? No. I'm fighting an ogre with a bunch of people in the main group, ogre. I feel. Okay, so this is here, here somewhere, somewhere, I guess. Ogre that's wounded. Yeah. Wounded one. It's okay. like less than half health. I'm taking down a jackal, but it seems like everybody's leaving, even though it's almost dead. <laughs> yeah, and that's partially because of the way that the rift points work. They probably figure I'll just move on to the next one to so get the next points. <laughs> they don't have to be around for the kill. <laughs> so like one option they could switch this to is that you only get points if you're targeting the mob when it dies. Yeah. I I think that With that would the probably way that it is, fix a lot of things. Right now, I don't see that doing anything because it's such a Why? mess right now. But like Nobody it will knows force you to on. sort of stick around to the last to the last moment after it dies but it very well forces you to you get the most amount of points for being the one to stick around so it doesn't reward the people that have other jobs which i feel is the better solution that oh, i see what you're saying everybody shouldn't just their job isn't to just bring down the mob their job there should be many different jobs here to uh, allowed for crowd control and uh, you know this should be less of a mess is basically what i'm saying <laughs> somehow you know we right. have the experience in everquest to, to know what a what a raid like this should look like should look uh, like yeah. and it should not look like this it should not look like this <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is a little bit messy um one other thing that would be cool is like, and I think it was a game changer when they added this to EverQuest is a way of, of targeting mobs, like, or marking mobs, you know? Like yeah. that was, they did that in EverQuest, right? At some point where you later, have the ability they did, to yeah. mark later, much later. I think that made a big difference. I mean, there was a lot of roles in EverQuest in general, and then a lot of roles within a raid itself. The fact that we're outside of the rift area, though, I have I don't a feeling know if might that, be a problem. How if that interferes? Does it? Do we stop getting not? points or something? So there's there's no rumors because they did announce that it would be on test in January. Um, I reconfirmed that. And I was just told that's the plan. So whether or not they're going to make that deadline or not, I don't know. But the plan is that they're going to have it released on test server for testing the combat update before the end of the month. I am really looking forward to that. And I think once it is on there, we'll be streaming that. So next week, hopefully, yeah, they do have a couple weeks still. It's only halfway through January right now. 
Um, I mean, one possibility is they wait right to the last end of the month. They, you know, they technically have until then to meet their deadline. And, and even then it might be that it's delayed. Who knows? I, I, I'm not sure. I wouldn't hold it against them if it ended up in the first week in February, let's say, because, you know, it's a, by the sounds of it, it looks like it's going to be um, a big change to the system. Yeah. Although I'll, I'll tell oh, you oh, don't. that. Oh, cats, you're here. <clears throat> um, we, I, we have cotton because I went and mailed some to myself and I went, that was the first thing I went and got was cotton for us. Yeah. So we're good. We are okay. And actually the heels have been coming in pretty good. I don't know if you've noticed them, but we've been getting heels pretty well. I have noticed well. them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so far so good. So far so good. There's still a bunch of mobs over at the rift beam. Does anybody know if like if we fight outside of the rift area, does that count towards progress? Boy, I'm only at 30. I need to start picking this up because the rift's going to end and I'm not going to hit the 60 mark. Uh, I might have to start so, cheesing this a little bit so where I'm really, just targeting stuff. Like. 60 is the first mark, and then the next mark isn't until 500? Right. You get nothing the, the, in between? Uh, no, it's, it's you, get, you get rift points, and that scales as your rift points go up. I, don't, I mean, I there's no I wish there was a better way to say this. Yeah. Right, what, what, is, we what is here? it called? When Can I type kill rift... This ogre that's right there. No, no one wants to. Oh, it's called right. Rift Participation. We're going this yeah, way. Yeah, okay, so. Okay. So how about we'll say this. Rift, <laughs> we'll say Rift Participation for the number that's in this window, and we'll say Rift Points for the points at the end. Okay, so. Are they different? I think that, yeah, they're different. So how do you know I'm not which sure what one the, you're getting? I'm not sure what the thing is. It's that once you hit Phenomenal... Then you're, you get the materials at the end. I think I'm pretty sure. Okay. Like you get moon metal, you get rift mats, but then you get rift points as well, and that rift point scales with what your rift participation. Oh was. my god! Hey, Antirk. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Yes, this hey, is a, a big, big mess, and you know, yeah, it's fun. And this looks like we're still in the third wave. Oh god. No. <laughs> that doesn't. Make oh sense. my this god. Looks like fourth wave. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see if I go okay, rift. Where are we all going, oh, guys? God. Who pulled yeah, it says all we're in the these? third wave. <laughs> I know who pulled all of these is the right question to ask because I don't think we started the next wave. This was just what was left over at the beam. Okay, we need a target. Look there at that. Target. Wow. This is not fun. <laughs> right. I'm not sure who to target, to be honest. I guess everybody's out here killing this one. All right. Can do that. So what I'm confused about is I I still only have 30 something points. Um and I'm sure why it's not going up. <laughs> Considering we went through, you know, I don't know. Is my points just staying? Your points keep going up. You're at 115. You need to be inside. Okay, so <clears throat> so I'm assuming inside. I'm not. We're not getting any points for killing this outside of the rift area. Right. I, that would I be feel my like guess. That's the problem. And yeah. we're all standing outside of the rift area for the foreseeable future. I would assume. <laughs> Because nobody wants to go into that I mess. I know. Nobody wants but to go in. But we should just be like standing over here or something and start pulling one at a time. Whoa. Instead of outside of here, as an example. Like if I yeah, were we should to all guess, be getting we would all be like into the corner in this there. corner. Yeah, yeah, I see where you are. Right? Exactly. That's exactly where you should be going. We would be pulling stuff to this corner. And all it would take is for people to know that if they're out there, 
there's a that that oh my god we're not getting any benefit two aoe's in a row like we're just here killing look at all these yeah look at all these people and you'll see some of the rift mobs like they'll start running back yeah i don't know either i'm i'm almost dead look at my health i'm right next to you wait where are you you see me right next to you yeah you see my health (laughs) i got so low Uh, frames yeah you should start healing Oh, and I'm getting hit by something still. And I'm going to die if I don't run away. That's right, Third Eye Gamer, yeah. In games like EverQuest, you have specific roles, like Enchanter, <clears throat> who, you know, does the crowd control. Does Worm have any of these roles? No, we don't really have no. classes like that. Uh, it wouldn't stop us from from the devs providing tools that allow us to take on certain roles we just as far as i'm aware don't have stuff like that in this game like like combat is not this game's main there focus is, there is like one role the that this rift <laughs> it's the first time i Go use ahead. target hostile the ho- target oh. hostile hotkey all right i'm out, i'm out of this for like a in, good five minutes i have to in heal. nine years i am so dead i have Six percent health left. So there is one role that is definitely in this, and it's the Leroy Jen- Jenkins role. <laughs> <laughs> like there, honestly, there is a role for someone to pull, and there probably is a better way to pull than other ways. You know, <laughs> but but just no one no one has that skill here really i would assume because you don't yeah. have to do it very often all you need to do in this game to pull really is to like pull them away right like what you if you get <laughs> them on you like you you accidentally get too close to the rift then what you need to do is run in the opposite direction of the group <laughs> and yeah, you will and outrun run them around. if you're on a horse and then run around Right. Don't yeah. pull them to the group. That's like the worst thing you could do, because then we all have to run out of the rift area. And I'm not what even we, sure if we're getting what we really need is progress just, for this. Yeah, I, I wish there was there was more type of combat events. You know, flesh out the combat role. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, with things that we've talked about in the past, like the goblin or troll. Uh, villages if they were to build their own little fortresses that you'd have to take down that would help with get people getting prepared for an event like this but as it stands there's not really much to prepare you for something like this uh, in this game and the only reason why we're talking is because of our experiences in games like everquest Uh, and Mm. and the reason why uh like let's say you played world of warcraft i wouldn't say that that game would prepare you for an experience like this uh just because of the fast-paced nature of that game within raids it it gets rid of some of the roles that are needed in a game that's slow paced like this one are we getting any points like we've just been killing outside of this raid area yeah i can't ch- you can't check your points when you're outside of the rift area i'm i'm going back so into let me this stand area. inside like this one person let me see who's like am i strategically in the standing nope i have to be inside this oh slash one rift. more okay so let's see where am i rift. you're at 122 <laughs> i i finally made it to 60 okay so i'm i'm happy I, I honestly, I, I have to admit, I did have to cheese that a little bit by just targeting random things. So I don't see anyone using archery. Is that not viable for this? It says anterior. I, hon- I, I think it is viable. It definitely requires you to prepare more because you're going to be using a lot work. of arrows. So- yeah, think think of the difference between us just showing up because we have armor and and a weapon versus weapon. someone that had to prepare for hours, hundreds, creating of hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of arrows. And the amount of arrows <laughs> just for like the this arrows moment. need to be high quality, right? The quality of the arrow determines the damage. So you want 
high quality arrows and it's like as it is you have to improve each individual arrow right yeah, so, so again, let's say you want to prepare 100 arrows right yeah it's like improving 100 items right you could so you know there has been suggestions on the forums about arrows um somebody suggested like why don't they make it so that like you can you can like group up right, like a bunch of arrows, arrows at a time right like a, a fletch of arrows and improve the fletch of arrows as one item like that I might say, make like there you could create like a like a little no thanks type uh, fletching sense. fletching box or something and then you can place you know 50 arrows in there and then create like all 50 at, at once as you get higher in fletching right because it's a completely different set mm -hmm. of skills so there we have a fletching skill we have uh You'd have to get your bow and arrow skill up, basically. You'd have to get your archery skill up. So you'd have to prepare in that sense before you're even able to do damage at an event like this. Whereas right. normally what people do is they just go out and get their combat skill up, you know, get their fighting skill, get their normal fighting but skill. But if there's somebody out there who's interested in becoming an archer, then when they go out and get their combat skill, they're going to go out and get their archery up, right? Instead yes, of... so you'd have to prepare for that ahead of like wait. In the same way as we would right? have, same way as we would have to prepare for our fight skill, right? Correct. Just that nobody does it so because of how much nobody extra does prep it. work there is. <laughs> I'm I'm talking. Yeah, exactly. What I'm thinking is that the reason why nobody does it is simply because <laughs> you have to improve each individual arrow. Like the other thing is, is that we can get <laughs> our weapon enchanted, right? But in order to Everyone's enchant over here. arrows, Come on. you have to enchant each individual arrow. And then uh, on top of so that, when you not, let loose the arrow, yeah, when the you let bow. loose the arrow, you lose it. It's not the bow, right? So the, the, I think those two changes will actually make it so that people would probably pick make arrows. Make it so the bow uh, holds the enchant. more often, anyway. Make it so the bow holds the enchant and make it so that you can imp clusters of arrows at a time. Like in one shot. Like, honestly, arrows are so throwaway. Like, you shoot the arrow and it's gone. And then you shoot another arrow and it's gone. And if you come to the rift with only, like, 40 arrows, like, you'll be done that 40 arrows in the first wave. And now what? You know, like, if you want to be an archer in this game, which should be something that's viable because it's, you know, quite attractive. Um, it, it's just, it doesn't seem to reward, like, the amount of effort that you have to put into it doesn't come off rewarding. How about priests? Right. Yeah, 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 totally. Priests are casting. I have seen them doing damage. And I also yeah, see them doing Yeah, we saw some healing. damage spells going off. Yeah. You know, the ones You'll that see we tentacles can going see off every so often. <laughs> yeah. The, I assume the there's ones that we pillar. can't really see very well. Is, is Would that be true? I don't know uh, all the spells, but... I think you see them pretty clearly now. They updated all, the they graphics have, uh, on almost animations. all of them. Okay. Yeah, they all have That's animations nice now. So, like, for example, you'll see big tentacles come out Zoom of the ground, or you'll see the guy. entire ground turn ice. <laughs> um, and then the Light of Foe, which is the AoE heal spell that the foe priests are casting, will cause, like, a green glowing effect over everybody, part of the collect. Yeah. Um, so I think the role of priests is pretty solid at Rifts. For sure. That's good. And Third Eye Gamer, like, I, I agree. Like, it does feel like a chaos, chaotic battle, which does have its appeal for sure. Um, but one would, uh, would like to see, I think, that if an organized group of players had came in with a particular strategy, that there are certain strategies in war that will be better than others. And it'd be nice to see that. I wonder, I, I bet you there is some strategy here that we are not following, but there could oh, be multiple mobs different are strategies. Multiple different strategies, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, they get that... participation for healing. Yeah. So they did change yeah. it. I'm not sure if it's balanced properly, but Why are they running over they there? definitely did trying to get the strays that are behind us because what's going to happen if we go the other way we're going to get surrounded. Okay. What are we doing here? We want to get the ones. 
We gotta kill uh, these guys. There's like right nobody here. over here. Where is everybody? Where is everybody? We're going yeah. over this one ogre, I guess. Ogre. Which ogre. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Well, he's running away. Oh. I don't know if we're talking about the same ogre, but this this guy right next to us, next to the group. Where is the group? I think the group split up. Um, next to these trees, yeah, the group got split up. But yeah. I'm talking. You're you're over corner. there. I would assume you're over here. Yeah, I, I think that. Really oh, see. everybody's way over by the tents over there. There's a lot of people over by the tents, and uh, I'm wow. in this other group that's sort of in between both of you guys and the guys at the I tents. I see. I see the ogre that you're <laughs> killing. Yeah. Um. The group this I'm is a good is spot because we're still the in the here. rift area. I see. You know, if somebody were to just be the person to pull right here, that would that would help. Instead of yeah, everybody just moving, get... which we're gonna do anyway. Yeah. Priest healers do get the best score because they AoE heal everybody and then they get credit for everybody that the people that they healed are targeting. <laughs> So it's a lot easier to get higher scores of faux priest. So there is advantage. Like, I, I do agree that we should incentivize the healers. We should give them rewards because otherwise we might find ourselves not having any heals at these things because everybody would rather get points by, you know, targeting around. Yeah. So they did up the participation points for healers. And I think that that has helped because every rift I go to, there's healers like crazy, which is what we want to see um clear to the beam but do not burn yet clear the north pen first then fall back east okay i assume we are going to go after this ogre but i'm okay maybe not yep. everybody's going after the summer I know we should be killing the ogre. No, the ogre's wounded. The ogre's got hit a bunch there. Do any of these mobs like? Do they have any AI that? Uh, are basically are any of them? Do specific things like heal. That we should know about. Yes. So the like casters or. Cast I I don't know about healing. I don't think anybody heals, but uh, the summoners will summon wargs. The ogres do the AOE. Um, those are the two main ones that I know to be aware of. Because that could also determine which mobs we should be hitting first. The ogres is probably the ones we should really be prioritizing, especially when there's like three like this clumped up. Because they because deal if damage all three or... of them, they do AOE damage. So if all three of them cast oh, their AOE okay. damage all at the same time, Everybody in this little clump will almost certainly be not only they, they might be really low health or a bunch of people might die. You know, we have the fire protection, so it'll mitigate some of that damage, but it, do, it honestly, it doesn't mitigate all that. I don't much. think you still anybody knows big what, who to attack here. Yeah, one of the ogres would be the best option. Another strategy is to split up the ogres, so those people who get aggro can turn them away or like pull them up just apart like we're doing right now so that if they're if they do cast their aoe it doesn't hit so aoe is it a directional twice. aoe or is it hmm good question so if we're standing behind the ogre will we get hit from it i yeah. don't know actually because i saw actually one of the aoe's like another one of the jackal type of people was doing some kind of aoe I don't know what it was, but it seemed like it was directing in front of, in front of the mob. Like it was yeah, like breath I, or I, something. I suggested to you to drop your settings so that the frame rate wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. So in order for me to drop the settings, I would have to know exactly which setting is causing it, or There's I could one... do. That for sure will and definitely it has help. Has to that's be the something that doesn't ambient. require me to restart. Right. Unfortunately, so, it's one that will require you to restart. Yeah. So I I need something. If anybody has any suggestions, <laughs> be able to tag them up somehow so that everybody can see who the main tank is. Yeah. Exactly. That would be really nice. Uh, 
Um, normally, what I've been doing is I just wait until I see some damage on something, and then I go to that one. I know a bunch of people are targeting it, but yeah, it would be nice if there was the ability for somebody to target or to make a target on top of a mob. Right. Ambient inclusion is what I suggested, although that would require a restart. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, it's possible that that did nothing until the restart. It didn't actually tell me. I know that's another thing that would be nice if in the settings it actually had a little thing that just, it doesn't even have to be programmed in. It just needs to be the text in the info box should just say, this one requires a restart. Yeah. And which takes time to program, but I think they should. No, no, no. I'm not talking about programming. It's just, just add the text to the tool. Tip. Yeah, but then you would have to have a trigger to say that. So I, I don't know how the options work right now, but. There's already a trigger yeah. to say the description of it. I think it's a it, general right? trigger. I so understand, it's just but there's telling us that there's in little, general, you see the some little, settings. For example, reply. it'll say, send, yeah. there's a little question box, right? Like a question mark. You see the question mark uh, box? So you, you just hover over it and it opens a tooltip. Whether just add text requires restart. They just need to add in brackets. Requires I restart see. into that text. So it wouldn't require yeah, reprogramming that. anything. That would be the easiest part thing to do. It'd be, yeah. easy, it'd be easiest, and it, it's, it's that would be completely acceptable, in my opinion. It's the way most games do it. They just have it in the, <laughs> the text, some settings. Right? Like some if I, settings, exactly. If I sit here and like disable, I don't know. You know, I go to the legacy renderer. I don't, I don't even know if that'll help. To be honest, I bring down the terrain as an example. I do all of these sort of things. What am I going to buy? What do you mean? What are you going to buy? How many FPS am I going to buy here? By doing oh, that? I see. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing. Yeah. If oh, so, Sibuku <laughs> suggests that in teams, like if you if you form a team with some, then the leader of that team could mark that. That's one way of doing it for sure. Yeah. Just realize winter is over already. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <clears throat> um, just yeah, winter's yesterday. over. It, it lasts like three heal. days. Uh, I think it's like three real life days, which honestly I don't think Ooh, is long I'm enough. Really uh, they did that a long while ago because people were complaining about how they hated winter. Um. And the reason why they complained that they hated winter was because back then the graphics were terrible and it made it so the entire world was just a really bright, horrible looking white. Yeah. They had no texture on the ground. There was no like normal mapping. So it didn't look like it was just like a flat white Big color white everywhere. Light shining in your face. White light. It was bright in your face. Everybody hated it. Um, but now I think winter looks great, you know, like in the we sense, sailing I, I feel yesterday like they to the... went too far. Does that make sense? Like they, what do you mean? In making it look winter good? Winter was the same length as every now other. it's too good. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying in terms of lowering the time. Yeah. So the time, uh, every season was basically equal at the start. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, with people complaining about winter, eventually it led to winter becoming so short, you basically can miss it if you if you don't play for a couple of days. Don't play for a couple few days. days. Yeah, I think you missed it almost. I missed it. I, I think I, I saw yeah. like, I saw it a once. Couple. Yeah. And yeah. maybe they it does overreacted, you know, which is a normal thing to do. It's like, it's really yeah. short. Uh, you know, it's still got to be winter some of the time. <laughs> right um i mean at the time i think it was a decent at enough the same time it was a right it was a decent enough fix it made people happy that winter was shorter now but when they you updated all the cool. graphics and made everything look pretty and the volumetric lighting got added in and the normal mapping and now winter looks beautiful they should have at that point adjusted things and i'm not advocating for making them equal again but like just a little bit longer. A week would be great. 
I think if it lasted seven days. Yeah. Um, I yeah, did collect I, snowballs though for. It needs to be longer. long enough for people to be like, man, I wish winter would end. Like I'm finally getting that sense, <laughs> and then it ends. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, Enter. There is a boss at the end of this. Um, although I think the boss just amounts to more points. If I'm not mistaken, there's no like mm, everybody uber over drops here. that can happen. Oh, look at these clumped up giants here. This is a bit dangerous. I think we are. Going Although, to kill this again, one. you should have seen the cadence mo uh, riff where there were just like 20 giants all clumped up in this small little area, and everybody yeah. Yeah, is just like in that one small area. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what do you think about premium players voting on updates? In the old school RuneScape, players can vote on updates, and which passes, whichever passes 74% will be implemented. They have that in this game. I've seen some. They don't use it like that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. In order for that to take place, they would have to have a list of items they would seriously want to be implementing, and I don't think that that exists. You know what they could do is like you know like the massive list of things on the roadmap. Yeah, but it, like by so massive, they could it's use not massive. This... <laughs> okay, it might be like seven things or whatever, but yeah, let's something. But what they could do is handful. once they implement this update, what they could do is do a voting system that, like, what do you want us to work on next? next. What do you want us focus to be on? Right, right. As opposed to what do you want implemented? Because they already have like this list of things they want implemented. But maybe if they get a, a, a use their voting system, which they do have, they can. You know, they can tell who voted premium. Uh, I think only premiums can vote. Um, and then they could just say, what does the community want to see next? You know, I would I wouldn't be down for that. Um, they would have to somehow figure out a way to do it within. They have so it. there's there's no they way have to a do system that where you fairly, you, I would say you log um, in. Yeah, you log into yeah. your character, and if it's premium, you get a pop-up when you log in that yeah, there's so a vote as happening. As long as you're okay with uh, multiple people that pay more money into the game, have a bigger say than you, I totally you okay am with that? okay with that. Then totally we're okay, because then we're fine. that obviously should make sense. The people who have more money invested in the game should have their opinion. it's not quite more money invested into more. the game. It's more about... Uh, more characters, right? Premium I'd at that see, time, like you, right? Because buying gold is more and... money into the game, but not uh, you don't get an extra vote for that sort of thing. Hmm. I wonder if they have a way of tracking how much they... money the individual character has put in versus how much not you know well. silver do they use to pay for their premium? Yeah, as far as I'm seeing, but here... their shop. But their shop is set up yeah, so that this each will... character has their own account, right? East, stop sacking. Yes, yeah, stop sacking. Stop burning. Go west. Wait a minute. There's one over there. Go west. There's a mob. Will this do it? What's that? I'm what trying to it? see if I can. Well, yeah, there is a mob over here. Somebody trying to Raise fight it. This FPS. Oh, I see. Well, now that we are really in this, really done it. We are in this. Um, what is it called? Are we on a break? <laughs> break? Yeah, we're in a break. So you can All maybe right, let me restart. Yeah, but Worming Zeth, the thing about premium is that a player can pay nothing towards the game, earn silver in the game, and use the silver to buy premium. So what we're suggesting is if players who pay more money into the game should have a b bigger say, well, if they don't keep track of how much money a person has put into the game, but you know, only keep track of it based on how many months premium they've been, 
Um, that's, I don't think that's a good way to, to determine that. But but I think their shop is set up in a way that they could have they could keep track. Am I not even? I'm not even swinging at this guy. All right, game looks like garbage. <laughs> 